Let's spotlight him first, one second. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Through the virtual space. Oh my god. It's my friend Fred in the in the corner. <laughs> then I have two friends in the corner over there. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, thank you so much for coming to this uh, virtual concert. Um, it's kind of my dream to do a little concert in my bedroom. So um, this is kind of perfect, actually. I hope everybody's doing okay. It's a weird time in the world. But thank you for joining me through all this. I'm going to do some stuff that I've never really <laughs> done, like put some drums in and all that, so hopefully it goes well. Um, I'm true. Thank you. This one's called Night and Day, um, and this is a cover of an old old uh, jazz standard that I, I really, really, really love um, that I'm going to put up next month. Night and day You are the one Only you beneath the moon And under the sun Whether near to me or far No matter, darling Where you are, I think of you Night and day Day and night How is it so? That this longing for you Follows wherever I go In the roaring Traffic's boom In the silence Of my lonely room I think of you Night and day Night and day Deep in the heart of me There's no such a hungry Yearning, burning Inside of me And the storm Won't be through Till you let me Spend my life making love to you Day and night, night and day
Oh, is that is that all sounding okay? <laughs> like the sound, I'm like I'm scared um, that it's like. Yeah, it's very, it's very, <laughs> okay. very good. Oh, no, but I mean, <laughs> like it, it, you can hear it, right? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hear okay, it. good. Um, thanks for. I, I wish I could see everybody's faces like all at once and see it what you guys, hard. you guys drawing yeah. cool things. I hope you are. Um, um you can hit gallery view. Oh, it's gallery the, view. The little okay. box on the top right. Oh, gallery. Is within that box. Hey, what's going on? Fernanda, Krister, Lena, Ryan, Michelangelo. What's up? Michelangelo. It's an awesome name. My God. Thank you so much for coming, guys. This means, like, a lot to play some music live and to see other human beings' faces <laughs> other than my, my three friends I've been hanging out with. <laughs> I, I love you guys. I'm sorry. Don't take that for a second. This one's called um, Paris Syndrome, which is actually like a real, it's a real, it's a real syndrome that like millions of people are afflicted with. Um, it's mostly in Japan. Um, people from Japan dream about going to Paris so much that they, um, they get this syndrome when they get there because it's not as beautiful as they thought it was going to be. And it's like kind of crazy, but it's all about like how things, when you get there, don't end up being what you hoped they were. And um, I guess the song is about that feeling. I 
Margaret, Jamie, Jackie, Ward. Hey, Ward, what's up, man? <laughs> you made it. <laughs> um, thanks so much. My dad's here, some great other people, and Anna. Oh, my God, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I got a couple couple songs. I got three more, I think. She gave me time for. Um, this one's called Nirvana. It has no relation to... <laughs> Um, the band, <laughs> more like the place, I guess.
That song is actually going to be the one that comes out after the next one in September. This one I almost have done. I was working on it during quarantine and uh, really excited to share that one, actually. And it's also dedicated to a very dear friend of mine whose name it sounds like, so. <laughs> um. Um, this song I actually put out in February, so I don't know if you just stumbled in here, <laughs> but you might know this one. It's called Meta Girl. And it's kind of like the feeling like when you, when you have just a moment where you cross paths with someone, they leave an effect on you in some way, and just sometimes it feels kind of profound. Listen up in the clouds. She came to me and asked, Who are you? I told her that I'd meet her there. Also, I've got all these hot people near me. They're so hot. <laughs> my friend. I love my friend. Okay, I'm changing guitars for this last one. Um, this is the last song. Um, um, this is the first song I ever put out. I put this out last year. Um, and, uh, okay, this one. It's kind of like a darker lullaby. <laughs> Dark lullaby. That's what we all want, right? <laughs> um... This one's sort of like about that feeling like you worry if you go to sleep and you wake up and the person you love is gone. You're kind of asking, please don't do that. <laughs> like you, 
give yourself over and say, okay, well, I'm going to be vulnerable with you. Like, can you, can you do that with me? It's called Good Night, Baby. And thank you, everybody who's, who's here. Really appreciate it. want to play. <laughs> I am dying of it's so hot. Uh, okay. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hi. Uh, okay, can we give another virtual round of applause to <laughs> Tarun? You can use different reaction buttons on the top, like bottom right. Okay, or we can all actually clap. Let's do that. That's better. <laughs> um, no, Tarun, oh. so good. That was Fan, you're going to be famous. I'm just saying it here. <laughs> um, but, okay, awesome. So now that everyone kind of had the, this time and, like, excellent music to kind of reflect and introspect. Uh, oh, sorry. Actually, before we do that, Tarun, so can you just, like, talk a little bit about, like, your relationship with mindfulness? I know when we first started talking that you were saying um, you had, like, a really deep relationship to it and have been practicing it for a while yeah um well it's very much very much thanks to my my dad um who i think is here maybe silently <laughs> um but uh me and my twin sister um lulu we we will go to these meditations every every sunday like throughout our entire lives and we would go there and we would you know sort of sing and dance and sort of chant just like Baba Nam Kevalam, which means like love, love is everything, everywhere. And we would sing and it would just come up with all kinds of songs. And there was all these people from all over the world that would meet. And it was always all in um, Queens and we'd go there and sing and dance and just do that for an hour. And then we would meditate for anywhere from like a half hour to an hour. 
um, and just like try to focus like the monkey mind <laughs> and my mind was such a you know what um year of the monkey and i'm like mm-hmm. it was just like constantly thinking of things and so it was like a it was a practice you know every every sunday like most of my my childhood just like of going how can i find a way to 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 pause and to take a deep breath and um and then we would eat a little bit, but I've always found that music has been my the easiest way, I guess, for me to like meditate. Um, as an adult, um, as I've grown up, like you know, I don't meditate quite as much as I used to, but I do find myself like at home alone, like sitting with my little guitar, and I'm like close my eyes, and I'll be there for like four hours, and I'll just be picking, and it it really does clear totally, clear the mind, and I feel suddenly very grounded and very very present in in where I am and. That I think is the goal of of you know what mindfulness um, practice and and um, you know just feeling like in in the moment and in your body and um, I guess yeah so it's it's been a really cool kind of awakening thing for me as an adult to be like okay like music is the way that I meditate <laughs> whatever that means you know and I think everybody kind of finds their different ways I have friends who who paint and like will turn all the lights off and just like paint for eight hours and like that to me is a way of like you know siphoning all this stuff in our brain into this one thing and that is kind of what your mantra is when you meditate and when you chant or you know it's about having this one thing that you focus on that helps you clear on your mind whether it be your breath or you know your guitar or something so yeah yeah no completely agree and that's so cool that you had this practice or instilled in you from such a young age yeah and i was very Um, lucky (laughs) yeah no that's incredible i'm like just realizing the um like benefits of meditation i I mean i tried the breathing exercises but i guess like you i realized music i think might be my way to meditate just like yeah yeah Um, no like yeah um, like just meditating like breathing is like sometimes difficult for people who are used to like 40 screens and like stimulation you know, I know so I'm, like, like, I'm like can I grab my phone soon, yeah please? does my phone uh, count yeah <laughs> <laughs> um no that's awesome and so just uh last question and I guess it's a similar prompt to uh what I'll be asking the audience um but I guess just like during the set how did you feel playing and you know <laughs> um well, this was a really unique experience, um, having everybody, all of you guys here. Thank you again, you know, and then I have my couple of friends in here too as well. And this is my like apartment. This is where I record all my music. So it's really cool. I've always dreamed of like, I played a couple of live shows like recently in this last year and I kept being like, oh, like what, what could I do to, on stage to like, I don't know, make it feel more intimate. And I was like, oh, I'll bring my my bed, <laughs> you know, like, I'm just like, what is that? You know, but like, it's cool to bring everybody, you know, into my my home uh, basically and go hey this is where i play this is where i record and i feel most safe here and yet i can share that with everybody so thank you for joining me there guys i appreciate it yeah yeah no that's awesome and again super super happy that you were able to perform for us it was it was really a terrific set (laughs) um yeah so with that, I guess um, thank you for sharing, and uh, I guess I'll share how I felt listening to your music. <laughs> Honestly, do you like, want me to look away or <laughs> no? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, please, everyone hide. Turn off the camera <laughs> now. Um, kidding. But um, so basically, all of your songs just made me realize that you know I love love, and um, you know it's so great. And I've been reading a lot of books that just like the the final point is just that love is the meaning to life i'm like all right i mean i guess man like that i guess that is it so uh yeah no i just kept thinking about that and especially your first song the jazz song i have this uh this might be saying too much about myself but um i have this idea in my head especially like jazz music where i just want to slow dance in a kitchen um so that really brought that out of me. Yeah. I was writing about that image, like, yeah, like I'm wearing a white dress. It was, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Hamani. My boyfriend <laughs> called to Daniel. <laughs> also, yeah, when it, oh, this is going to be so cheesy too, but um, yeah, my boyfriend's on the call too. And because love was definitely the main idea that was in my head, I just kept thinking, especially that one song about like the special moment you meet someone, you meet someone yeah. special. I was just thinking, Oh man, like I was just thinking back to Daniel and I's first date. And you guys first met. It was yeah, exactly. Aww. So 
Love you. I love you. We all love you, Daniel. <laughs> can we thank Can we thank Crystal for like organizing this whole thing? She does these. She's doing these now. I think every. Are you doing every couple of weeks or every weeks? Yeah. Yeah, like this is so awesome. It's a I wish a way to bring everybody together and um, promote that mindfulness and that music love. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. Um, all right, that's my sharing. So I guess I know what you guys are waiting for. It's time for the audience to share. Is, so oh I'm gonna God. open up to you guys. Uh, you can have a couple minutes to kind of get your thoughts together, to, together, collect them. Um, I'm not asking for much, just like one or two sentences about how you felt, like what moved you about the set? What were you thinking about? Uh, what did you create? Uh, things like that it can be really anything. Um, but sharing feels really good. There's no judgment here. So if you want to share, just put your name or say, I want to share in the chat box. Or should I, should I play? Like, I was saying, I was like, should I play oh, some like, <laughs> some like music yeah, to like break like, the mood? Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> relaxing music. Share your thoughts. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to spotlight you so you're on the main stage. And I'll... Hey, Chris. There. <laughs> Did you, were you able to <laughs> unmute him? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can unmute him. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, yep. Thank you so much. That was, uh, that was an amazing set. Um, yeah, I think what you said about music being very therapeutic and, um, you know, meditative for you, I think that resounds with me a lot because that first song, that one refrain of, of day and night reminded me of, of Kid Cudi. And, yeah, uh, dude, I love Kid Cudi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, like, that was one of the first times where music really kind of hit me in my chest or like holy hell like this can actually you know explain how you're feeling and, and be you know therapeutic in that way um and so yeah i think all your songs after that um the entire set had that same effect for me where it just cleared away whatever latent anxiety or dread i had um and yeah it was it was wonderful so oh, thank you thank you thank you so much for saying that <laughs> wow thank you yeah it's a uh... It, it really is therapeutic like the music just hits some place in your heart or your soul or something hopefully and and it kind of just feels natural you don't have to talk <laughs> i mean we're talking about it now but you know it's really nice yeah great. thank you so much for sharing christopher that was awesome yeah. thanks for um, coming thanks. to watch yeah. uh does anyone else want to share i know ward you had a question would you like to ask it <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, we, we are you. What's up? Oh my God, let me turn off this freaky reverb. <laughs> yeah, that was really beautiful. The Paris song was so lovely. And, uh, the concept was quite cute as well. <laughs> I think the party in Paris beautiful enough. I feel like that's a very Instagram emotion. <laughs> oh my God. I quit. I'm, I'm deleting that song now. Oh my God. <laughs> Delete. Um, but I, I was just kind of curious, obviously, separate from the world we're currently in at the moment but where would you love to see your music go or where would you like to take it is it something you just feel is like a, something more personal or is it something you'd love to say? yeah i mean um i feel like music for most people when they start releasing music is always personal because it's like all we know and i'm finding now like ways of of like how it interacts with other people and with the world like at large a little bit more and i'm 
throughout quarantine, I've been composing a lot of like scores for things, and there's like a a short doc for my friend. I think I think you're are you here, Kwame. <laughs> oh, he was here, um, but um, you know, I composed this score for this documentary, and it's about the you know Black Lives Matter movement, and and I was like sitting there, and I was like, this is like so fucking fulfilling because it's like oh shit, I can use music to like help tell this story, which is like way way fucking important to me. And, um, that that is something that I'm just starting to understand a little bit more because all my songs are you know like oh this experience or I was sad and I was hurt and, you know and it's like okay can I can I share that meditative feeling um, and help people experience something else like you know you do with cinema um, where you put yourself in someone else's shoes or where you, you find yourself experiencing an emotion that you've hidden from yourself that stuff is really important to me and helping other people do that. Um, with music to me it seems really really important somewhere I'd like to go so definitely playing with that idea yeah <laughs> I think I think we I think we lost I can't hear Ward anymore but oh. thank you Ward <laughs> um yeah thank you so much for sharing and Tarun that is also my favorite thing about music and musicians is that they summarize all of our feelings especially feelings sometimes I don't even know myself <laughs> <laughs> that was really really awesome little did you know you had paris syndrome <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know actually as soon as i heard that song i was like do i <laughs> do i have that I don't know now. but um you know uh covid sorry to bring that up <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right um i know oh michelangelo thank you so much you'll share cool let me spotlight you really quickly one second Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, cool. hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi, sorry, I feel like that's like a default for Zoom, like, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me now? Um, yeah, so I feel like everyone's just pretty much hit it right on the spot. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than like, this uh, was kind of well overdue for me because um, Last July, this is July 2019, I was taking a school for grads, or taking an exam for grad school. It's like a really big uh, exam. And the night before I was, and the morning of, I was listening to Goodnight Baby. Hmm. And that was like kind of my uh, relaxation song. I know you said it's oh. like a dark... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's not, you know, it is, it's very... It's the idea. I think is the, the production is really warm and right. like kind, and you know the words are just, they're not. I mean, only dark, hopefully, but <laughs> you know they have a, they have that sense of like love being both dark and and light at the same time. You know. Right. Yeah. So with that, I, um, it was just really soothing for me, and um, I, I took the exam, it went well, and then I flew to New York, and you were having your concert, or you were. Pre- performing at this 154 below yeah um, concert oh yeah 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 i was gonna go to that and you know just to, to pay a tribute but instead i had i was stuck at some um pub in times square with my really conservative pub in times square sounds favorite. like the worst possible place to be in the world at all times yeah. <laughs> it was crazy and yeah so yeah so i'm really thankful to be here today and thank you for Aww. performing so. Uh, that that means so much to me to <laughs> yeah, know that you listened to that song and you had that experience with it. I mean, yeah, cra- holy crap! Yeah, I mean, I, I I will definitely keep people updated on like whatever new. Sh- I would love to do another one of these kinds of things again. Um, you know, whatever the world is gonna be, you know, we gotta find a way to play music in it. And, um, yeah, thank you, thank you yeah, for saying that. Thank, thank you, you so much. It means a lot. Yeah. Also, you should really forget me tomorrow. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's the you know that's the song I played at uh, fifty that fifty four below thing. I only oh, I only played one song me. in that thing, and it was like, oh, you're kidding me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to do I want to do this. I would love to release that. It's so, so, there's so many songs, and it's all about like oh, I gotta get, I gotta stop being so sacred about them. I'm like, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be perfect. It's gotta be perfect. Um, but. I, 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 it'll, it'll come soon. And I was thinking about just putting some, some of the songs, like some demos and stuff, and I'll, I'll post some stuff on Instagram or whatever, um, just of like some demos of the, of all the songs that I've written, because they're just sitting around. I would love to share them. I appreciate, I appreciate you, you following all that and stuff. Thank you. 
Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Michelangelo. Also, that's a fantastic Thank thing, you. by the way. Um, Appreciate cool. it. Yeah, <laughs> incredible. Incredible name. You're destined for greatness. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so with that, so we have like roughly 10 minutes. If I could just get one more person to share, then we can all go and, you know, just feel better. <laughs> Otherwise, we're all trapped here. Yeah. We can't leave. Exactly. <laughs> One more person. It feels really great. Oh I God. Am I stuck in? <laughs> oh. <laughs> can you can you un you highlight? I mean, I don't mind it. It's fine. <laughs> we like your we like your face here. All right. It seems I'm gonna have to use my power of ghost and pick on someone. So You're gonna pick on someone? I am. Oh my God! Prepare yourselves. Um, so, with that, um, Margaret McElroy, could you just share one or two sentences about how that made you feel? What were you thinking about? Maybe what did you create? Thank you. Okay. I like your dog bike, dog Thanks. background. <laughs> Thanks. Crystal made us choose something that, like, makes us happy on the first one. <laughs> Oh. With it. But, <laughs> that is yeah. that is French dog bike vibes. It definitely makes you happy. I love it. Thanks. Um. Well, I'll just. I'm a very emotional person. So as soon as you started singing, I started tearing up. And I had to like go off the screen a little <laughs> bit because I get. I was so looking forward to this today. I had like the worst day. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. So I was so looking forward to this. It's okay. That's why I was coloring during it in like my Bob Ooh. Ross coloring book I have. Oh and my god, you have a Bob Ross coloring book? I have to get yeah. one. Yeah, oh my and god. And the quote for today was, "This is not something you should labor over, over or worry about." I was like, "That's so true. This isn't something I should worry about. Like <laughs> everything's all good." And then I think like everyone else said. I liked when you, you talked about how, like, sometimes when you get there, things aren't always what you think they will be. Yeah. Like, but I'll say this is this wasn't the case. This was better than I thought. Oh, it was. oh my Just god! Sometimes, sometimes things aren't <laughs> as they should be, but in those good few times, they're better, and this was one of them. Um, so thank, thank you, you, thank you so much. I have to write a song about you now. God damn it! Mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> a song about you. No, but thank you, thank you so much for saying that. My God, oh, thank you. yeah. I mean, it's just like expectations are like always leave you, not always, but they can very, very often leave you very disappointed, <laughs> or just they end things end up different than you expect. So it's like I try to just like temper them, and just go, okay, well, whatever this is gonna be is what it's gonna be, and hopefully it's hopefully it's good, or I learn something, you know. But yeah. Mm, thanks for listening, and thanks for saying that. Thank you so much, Margaret, for sharing. I know you, I put you on the spot, so you are definitely a uh, brave soul, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, that'll be the end of it. Thank you guys so much for sharing and just coming to Willow. Uh, this is maybe my fourth show I'm, I've put on, and I put a show on every two weeks. Yeah, go to the other ones. <laughs> yeah, please go to the other one. Uh, the other one. Yeah, next week will be, um, his name is William. He will be doing a DJ set. So Cool, a little dancing. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot of boogie boogie in. Nice. I'm sorry again uh, for saying that. But, um, okay, cool. Yeah, thank you again, Tarun, for performing. That was fantastic. And for We, have, we have some art from my friend. Oh? <laughs> Wait, is it backwards? Or no? Oh, my God, bread and butter. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was inspired. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really thought it was a, that was a William joke, and you made art out of it. Thank what you. What is that? Oh, yeah. okay, that's cool. Better. Got it. <laughs> oh, it's Tarun. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Tarun vibe. <laughs> oh, wow, fantastic. Um, okay, wait. Oh, yeah. Also, mm, I got something else to say. Oh my God. Oh, right, Tarun. Um, your Venmo. Is Tarun's Venmo is going to be oh my Venmo. on our oh my Instagram, God. <laughs> our Facebook, and also it's on the Eventbrite link as well. 
So if you really love the show, which I think all of you guys did, just you know you can you can contribute towards his musician career. Um, especially in this time of the pandemic, a lot of gigs have been canceled for musicians, and music is what makes life so so much better. So you know if you can and if you're able, I think it would be a great thing to do. But other than that, thank you guys for coming, and I hope you guys have such a great week ahead of you. Thank you for coming, guys. I really, really, really very much appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Wait, should I turn this light off? It's like it's over. Wait. Uh, <laughs> yes, all right. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>